Have you ever wondered how you can use power from your solar panels through the day while at the same time charge your batteries and then the power automatically switch to the battery at night? Fully automatic without having to do anything. What about running your base from a wind turbine and if it gets destroyed using a battery as a backup? Completely automatic even while you're offline, just to keep your turrets online and keep your base safe. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a circuit that does both of these things and explain how and why it's arguably one of the most important circuits in Rust. We're going to start small and assume you have a single solar panel and a small battery. The solar panel is great through the day and can output 20 power. That's as long as you face it the right way. You can use this power to run the circuits or charge the battery. Some of you watching this are probably ahead of me here and that's the fact it might as well be a rubbish coffee table at night because it's as useful as a chocolate fire guard when the sun goes down. To start with I'm just going to use three lights to show you how it works before we move on to something bigger. As you can see here the solar panel can easily power three lights through the day but when it loses power through the night we need the battery to turn on and take over. So how can you utilize a solar panel through the day and keep your circuits running through the night with a battery. The old style way and probably the easiest way to power your circuits is to put the panel into your battery and this charges it. At the same time, your battery powers everything in the circuit. The issue with this is you need the battery to last all night, which more often than not, depending how many components you've got connected to it, simply won't happen so let's get started for this circuit you'll need a blocker by the way if you want to know more about components in rust click on the cards above now just make sure you come back to this video after we're going to need two electrical branches the good thing about electrical branches is you can choose how much power the branches output which is key to this build i'll show you why a little bit later on you're also going to need an or switch don't get this mixed up with an x or because that's something slightly different we just need a simple OR switch. These have got two inputs in the bottom and these will output the highest of the two inputs out of the top to power your circuits. And finally, you're going to need a battery and a source of power to charge it and run your circuit, obviously. For example, a solar panel or a turbine. So we're going to start by placing two branches next to each other, followed by one blocker and then one OR switch. And that's the hard bit done. Next, we need to wire everything up. So first of all, the solar panel will go into the bottom of the first branch you can then set this to whatever number you like but we'll touch on this a little bit later on in a bit more detail once you've set it wire the branch out to the bottom of the switch the OR switch has two inputs in the bottom it will only let through power from the highest of the two sources the second power out will power the second branch the branch out will go into the block pass through of the blocker now you can't set this lower than two but keep this at two again i'll explain why a little bit later the final branch power will charge your battery make sure you use your battery to power your blocker and use the power out of the blocker to go into the bottom of your switch you can then use the power from your switch to power whatever you like depending how much power you've got to play with so with this setup each light uses one power the blocker and switch uses one power each so that's five power in total simply output five power from the left branch and the remaining power will go to your battery to charge it if you add more components you'll need to increase this number but as long as you've got power going into the side of your blocker your battery will continue to charge and it won't be used once the power from the panel starts to drop below the cutoff for example when the sun starts to go down your second branch will begin to lose power the right branch won't be receiving enough power to block the pass through on the blocker and the battery will take over and keep power in the circuit just remember that a small battery outputs 10 power and one of these is used by the blocker. There's also one power used by the OR switch, which means you have eight power to play with. If your circuit demands more than eight power, you'll need to upgrade something as your battery just simply won't be able to keep up with the demand. You'll know if the blocker isn't letting power through because it'll show a red light. When the power is flowing through, you'll get a double green light. And that's the basic circuit finished. You can see here the lights are being powered, the battery is unutilized, and I'm going to simulate darkness by disconnecting the solar panel. You can see now that the blocker allows power through from the, the battery with the two green lights, 
the battery takes over until the sun comes back up again and then the solar panel will pump electricity through your blockers, blocking pass through, etc, etc. So apart from a couple of components, almost every drop of power is used for something and nothing goes to waste. How cool is that? So now let's say you've got a turbine. The turbines have the potential to output very large amounts of power depending how high you have them. It connects the exact same way, the only difference is the turbines will be able to power much more in your circuit and charge your battery much more nicely with the excess power. So now we've got more power we can add more things then right? Like three turrets, a splitter, still have three lights. Well, yes and no, mainly no. First of all, the turrets use 10 power each, so you'll need to make sure your turbine can keep up. You'll need to pass through at least 35 power, 30 for the turrets, one for each light, and two for the components. Our turbine here is kicking out 40 currently, but no doubt this will change. This means we've got five power left to power the blocker and charge the battery. Now, I'm glad I brought the battery up because don't expect this little piece of crap to power all of this stuff if you lose wind or your turbine gets destroyed your circuits will turn off usually when you upgrade your circuits you'll need to upgrade your battery as well goes without saying really so let's upgrade it to a large the large battery outputs 100 power you wire it up in the exact same way as a medium or a small battery and now i'm going to destroy the turbine and show you what happens to the circuit As you can see, the battery kicks in by itself, carries on powering your circuit and will continue to do so until your battery either runs out of power or you build another turbine or put something else into your battery to take over the circuit again. Now, I hope this little video made sense to you all. I tried to make it as easy as I could. If you're still struggling, just follow the video step by step. And once you've built the circuit once or twice, you'll be fine going forward. Really appreciate it. If you've watched it this far, let me know you're a legend in the comments. Feel free to leave a like. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. If you hit the subscribe button and enable the bell notification, you'll see all future videos. The channel's been growing really well lately and it's thanks to all of you. You're all legends, love you all and I'll see you in the next video.